here. Thank you for joining me. I'm going to be pressure canning sweet potatoes. I got them in the pot. They're all been washed. I've been tr I trimmed off uh, some of the bad parts and on uh, the ends, removed uh, the roots that were coming off, and they're going to boil for 15 minutes. All right, they're boiling now, so I set the timer for 15 minutes. The reason you boil them is so that the skins can be easily removed. After they're done boiling for 15 minutes, I'm going to move them to the sink. Run cold water on them because they're going to be hot, hot potatoes. And then that way, uh, I can easily remove their skins without burning my hands. All right, I'll show you how easy it is to peel. I'm just going to scrape it across here. They're still kind of warm. See how easy that comes off? It just peels right off. Look at this one. Alright, there they are all cut up and now I'll put them in quart jars and they're going to process for 90 minutes. Alright, there's my quart jars. I'm going to add the sweet potatoes to them. Drop them in by hand. I don't know how many jars I'm going to need, we will see. Move this closer. They're a little soft, so I probably could have got by with just boiling them for 10 minutes. Maybe I can get another one in there. Okay. My pressure canner will hold seven quarts. All right, I'm gonna add the hot water. And afterwards we'll the bubble one inch of head space is about up to the neck of the jar and I'll check it after I debubble it potato season I guess you can call it some people are already harvesting their potatoes um, this is a good time to learn how to do this so you can put up your potatoes. Okay, let's debubble. Got a few bubbles coming up. Like I said, I think it's a little soft. I probably should have just done 10 minutes of boiling to uh, peel the skins off. But that's okay. I like my sweet potatoes really soft with a little salt and butter. Alright, add some more water. And then we'll clean the rims with a paper towel and vinegar. You won't believe how many times I forgot to do this in the past on other things that I pressure canned and ended up having to take off the lids and redoing it. 
you don't want any film on the rims so that when you pressure can it, the lids seal. Finger tight. Alright, I'm going to put them in the uh, pressure canner now. The water in the pressure canner is hot or warm, about the same temperature as what is in the canning jar. And I'm going to can up the, what I have left over of sweet potatoes. I got room for seven in here, so I'll do two more. Okay, seven jars I got in my pressure canner. And we'll put the lid on, let it start venting for about 10 minutes. After 10 minutes of venting, I'll put the weight on and let it process for 90 minutes. Always check your manual for your elevation and how many pounds. A pressure you're gonna need for either quarts or pints. I'm using quarts so it's gonna take for my elevation 11 pounds at 90 minutes but first it's got to vent for 10 minutes to let the air out. After it vents for 10 minutes I'll let it get up to 11 pounds keeping an eye on the uh, heat and after 90 minutes then I'll turn it off let the gauge go down to zero remove that after it gets to zero only after it gets to zero and then I can open it open the container and then take the jars out okay my 90 minutes is up for pressure cooking only after the pressure gauge goes down to zero will I remove the weight you can cook it above your designated temperature but you can't let it go under for me it's 11 pounds and it's been cooking as you can see slightly above 11 pounds so after it gets to zero then I will remove the weight let it vent for about five minutes and then open the canning or pressure cooker to remove the jars all right all done there they are I'm gonna let them sit until tomorrow uh, and then we'll remove the rings, make sure the seals are secure, wash them and label them and put them in a cool dark place so that we can have food to eat later. Yummy. Alright, thank you very much for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Get busy and I'll talk to you later. God bless you. Bye.